we want to go back to work. We are, we are ready to go back to work, um, but we want a fair deal. Fraser Valley Transit drivers walked off the job March 20th over wages, lack of pensions and work scheduling. They're still on the picket lines, pushing for a good deal. We were in Abbotsford in March learning about the impact of the strike. And today we're back here again. We're going to check in with workers and people who would typically be taking transit to see how they're feeling. We're hearing a lot of people's struggles, you know, they're, they're costing them a lot of money for Uber, they just can't get to their jobs. Um, but at the end of the day, as frustrated as they are, their support is growing as well. Strike pay is obviously lower than what you're usually making. Are drivers looking for other work? Many members have found part-time jobs um, to help them get through this um, because we've got to survive somehow. But at the end of the day, we're hoping that we get back to driving soon. Communities like Abbotsford, Chilliwack and Mission have been without drivers for over seven weeks. And the regional route connecting the Fraser Valley to Metro Vancouver is also curtailed. Handy Dart is operating at essential service levels, only transporting people needing to get to dialysis appointments or cancer treatment. The union has called on the government to intervene to end the ongoing job action. So what's your message to transit riders who have been waiting for more than a month and a half to get back on the bus? We're here with you. We want to come back as much as you want us to be back. And um, call BC Transit. Tell them to get the bus service back because they have forever been monitoring the situation and we'd like them to start taking action. The strike has been especially difficult for students at the University of the Fraser Valley who have to get to campus every day. Many are walking or relying on ride hailing companies. Half of Janavi Sharma's monthly paycheck is now going towards transportation. How much money have you spent in total since the strike started on Uber? There was a financial form I had to fill for my school. Um, so that day I calculated it was 750. Um, and I was struck by it. <laughs> like at the end of the month, you are left with nothing because there's like very expensive, taking in consideration the inflation happening, the school, um, it's, it's expensive and you gotta do what you gotta do. QP Local 561 and the employer First Transit last met at the bargaining table on March 16th. The union says its line of communication is wide open if the employer is ready to negotiate on higher wages and a pension plan. For its part, the employer says it has proposed a five-year settlement with total wage increases of up to 16% over five years. So that means a conventional driver could make above $32 per hour in 2024. Both sides haven't set a date to meet. So for now, the Fraser Valley mostly remains a transit desert. Yes, Milaneya, CBC News, Abbotsford.